Hey guys, it's Brian here with the E3 recap of the EA press conference that just went down. This one a little bit less entertaining than the Microsoft conference, obviously. A little bit shorter as well, but we're going to go over what went down at this conference and kind of highlight the biggest things that were unveiled and shown off here. So we'll start off with Plans for Zombies, a very famous game that is more of a mobile game, more of an indie title. This is going to be Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, which is the third person shooter, if you want to call it that. A real mix of things. It, it looks interesting, but it also looks kind of weird. I don't know how to explain it perfectly, but the thing is, with that said, if you want to check it out, if you like Plants vs. Zombies, you can go look that up. Look up the trailer for it. But I'm a little bit worried about this one. I just want to see Plants vs. Zombies 2. But this game will be coming to Xbox One and Xbox 360. No PlayStation naming there, so I'm assuming that's an exclusive. Following that up, Peggle 2 was announced as well. And uh, Titanfall got some more footage from that. A development diary more or less, kind of showing off some more things about the game. And uh, the biggest thing that was noted there is that it's going to be multiplayer, with an emphasis on single player uh, in the multiplayer story, which we haven't really seen in games that much, but as you saw from the actual uh, gameplay that was shown at the Microsoft conference, they were really kind of playing it out like it looked like it was a single player journey they were going on, but that was actually multiplayer gameplay. So there's going to be single player aspects that are actually just going to be played out within the multiplayer, which is actually interesting uh, to note. Star Wars Battlefront is back as well, a, a big series from the uh, PS2 and Xbox era coming back and uh, going to be developed by DICE I believe, so it's very exciting to see that and uh, that was a game that I loved back in the day, Battlefront 2 was one of my favorite games and uh, that's going to be really neat to see what they do with that. After that they kind of went into this patch where things got a little bit weird, uh, Need for Speed's Rivals has shown off and uh, we've already seen parts of that game, looked kind of interesting, uh, I liked what they were talking about with the uh, multiplayer integration. Definitely looks spiffy, and um, the interesting part is they had Breaking Bad's Aaron Paul come on stage and talk a little bit about the fact that he is doing a movie called Need for Speed, which uh, I don't know uh, if that's going to be any good or not, but uh, it's Aaron Paul, Breaking Bad, we love him. So that was cool to see that. Uh, one of the things I was very excited for from this conference, Dragon Age Inquisition was shown off, and uh, trailer didn't really do that much for me, but I'm very excited to see what this game could be. I love Dragon Age 1. Dragon Age 2 was a little bit iffy in regards to how much enjoyment I actually got out of that game. So that's going to be coming out, uh, I believe it was Fall 2014, so a ways away, but that's a, a big game from Bioware that's going to be coming in the future. NBA Live 14 is back as well, so this is where we get into the sports info. And um, they haven't had an NBA Live game for some time now, but bringing it back and uh, they're trying to do it in a big way. Bounce Tech is their... Uh, feature that they're you know naming. I'm not going to go over all the features for all these sports games because they're throwing around these names for stuff and I was uh, uh, it's cool it's cool but I mean it's not you know we, we saw the Microsoft event crazy amount of awesome games shown up there and BLI 14 is you know a sports game so EA also showed off Madden 25 and the game looks pretty good they're actually showing off the features in regards to the the better motion for the players and I think that I really took away from their little bit of a Madden segment there was the ability for a player to read what's going on, uh, jumping over a player that's on the ground, or grazing past someone if they need to. I thought those were the two things that I could uh, definitely take away from that that were uh, pretty interesting. That was interesting. Um, and then FIBA trailer was shown off. You know, uh, the Barcelona players were talking about what it means to be a football player. And um, the weird part after that is Drake comes on stage. And you have started from the bottom, now we're here playing in the background. And he just starts talking about how he loves FIFA, how, how he's a big uh, soccer fan, as he was saying. And uh, I thought that was pretty funny. They follow that up with uh, just kind of talking about how the actual environments, uh, when you're playing in a stadium, there's no more cardboard cutouts for next gen. It's going to be real people in the stands. You're going to really feel it. And I'm very excited to see what that's going to mean for uh, future FIFA games, because you know, guys, I love my FIVA. After that, UFC, uh, Bruce Scott Buffer came out. He's the announcer for UFC. He uh, introduced everybody that was going to be uh, talking about the uh, UFC game from EA, and that was, again, really kind of weird. But they did that, and they talked a little bit about it, talked about the trailer. It's coming out spring 2014. And so we went through this stuff. I was feeling, ah, this isn't too good. But we uh, got a really nice wrap-up from EA here. They finished off with Battlefield 4. We already saw it at Microsoft, but you know what they showed off? 64-player multiplayer and it looked awesome. Yes, they were showing a specific, you know, zone and a specific type of scenario playing out, but it looked great. It looked really good. These guys were actually, um, this is the one of the ones you guys need to go check out. They were, uh, climbing up to this tower trying to claim a point, and people were actually trying to knock down, like, a freaking, just humongous building, and, uh, they were able to 
get to it, you know, get the, the checkpoint, and uh, it was awesome to see the new commander mode they're talking about, how there's going to be a commander for your team, you're going to follow his orders, I love that type of style, you are a great battlefield player, you're going to be leading me, the noob, through the, the trenches and telling me where to go, I think that's absolutely awesome, and at the end of the trailer they jump out of the building, and this, I swear, it's like a 50-story 50, 50 building, it crashes down, that was the end of the trailer, you have me sold on Battlefield 4, sir. Um, and they finish off with what many people expected to be shown off here. Mirror's Edge 2, the cult hit Mirror's Edge, is uh, going to be coming back. And they said it's going to be ready when it's ready. So that's uh, interesting to say the least. I'm very excited to see this next-gen Mirror's Edge. Mirror's Edge, uh, the original one, was very cool. Uh, but the graphics and everything look really awesome for that as well. That's it for the EA conference, guys. We'll be back with another one of these for the Ubisoft conference. Talking about... All the recap for that, and then we'll be back with the uh, final one of the day, and uh, we'll go over and see what Sony has to offer at the very end of all this. Thanks, guys, for watching.